Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, third grade, here's your problem this week. Notice it has two parts. We've got part A here and part B down here. When we have a two-part problem, it involves the same situation, okay? So we're gonna be focusing on a situation and part B applies to what we do in part A. Let's take a look. It says to drag the place value blocks, which are over here, into these circle groups, which are down there, to model or to represent or show the expression of three times 40. Okay, so I'm seeing that word drag. Now right now I'm marking up a paper copy, but usually when you take the fast math assessment, it's going to be on the computer and you'd be able to click something and drag it where it needs to go. So I'm going to bring this down right here, three times 40. And I know that three stands for the groups. And guess what? We have three groups. We have three circles, right? Three groups of 40. And I'm going to say things in each tie. Things in each. Okay, so I need to drag the place value block. So what I'm going to do is since I need 40 things in each one. Now technically I could take 40 of these ones and drag them into each circle, right? 40 of those, but that would take a lot of time. What would be a faster way to do that, to place 40 into each group? Yeah, to place four of the 10 rods, right? So again, if I were going to, if I were on a um, computer-based test, I would click on this rod and drag it, pulling it over into the circle. Because I can't do that on a paper copy though, as I'm marking up my work, I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I drag it and look, there I go, I place one in. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, okay? Dragging some more in. Drag in 10, 20, 30, 40, and drag in 10, 20, 30, 40. There we go. So we've dragged in the place value blocks to represent the expression of three times 40. Now part B says, find the product. The product is the total when we multiply. Find the product of three and 40. So what is the total when we multiply three times 40? Well, let's count them. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So down here, this would be a drop down menu. Right there, we click that and it would drop down this menu right there and we would select 120, just like that. And then it would go up there, okay? So that is your problem this week, third grade. Make sure that you have all of your work copied and awesome job today. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight, out of mind. I know that you're busy, so why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate, you take care of it, and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again, and I cannot wait to see you inside the free course!